Hey, today what I'd like to do is show you some of the new features and remind you of some of the old features for Quick Graph version 5.0. The number one new feature, something that I've wanted to have for quite a while, and I finally was able to get around and find the time to do this, is the addition of multiple data sets. So if I'm tracking the position versus time for a variety of different cars, I can plot them all at the same time. So you'll notice this is going to be the red car. Change the name just by clicking on that title. Got all my data entered. I go to curve fit and I pick linear. Notice I added a proportional option and a cubed option this summer. Okay, once I am done with the red car, I can go to this new button that I added, change data set. It'll now change me to data set two, which I'm gonna call my blue car. I then put in my data for the blue car and the blue car you can see was traveling much faster. And again, I can curve fit it and I get my graph for the blue car. Finally, we'll go to a green car and the green car I want it to be a little different. The green car was actually accelerating when I was timing it. So its data is going to be a little bit different because it's going to have a squared relationship. And when I go to pick squared, you'll see I can get multiple relationships, multiple graph uh, types, multiple data sets all at the same time. If I want to see the graph in a bigger version, I just click. You'll see all three graphs at once. You'll see the key telling you which color represents which line. You'll see your equations and your correlation for linear graphs. So the big new feature this year is the ability to have multiple data sets, up to five. You just click to cycle through them. When you get to five, if you click again, you'll be back to data set one. I want to remind you of some of the other features. So here's a simple one um, data set graph. This is for acceleration and mass. And you'll notice I have them on the wrong axes. So I can just click and have them switch. So if you want acceleration on the Y and you accidentally typed it on the X, just use your switch button. Remember, you can activate and deactivate points by clicking on the numbers. You can modify your X data. So if you wanted to square all your X's, you could. If you wanted to take the square root of them, you could do that. If you want to add a constant to each, you can do that or subtract the constant or multiply or divide. Lots of options. Same thing with the Y. You can set your axes, you can have them graph automatically, which is the default, or you can manually scale them if you prefer. Okay, so if you wanted a more zoomed in version than the one that was given to you by default, you can do that. Again, if you're curve fitting, pick inverse, we get our curve fit. If we wanted to override the equation, we could do that. Okay, we have whatever option we'd like. And in this case, the original was the best. We can save our graph. I wanna remind you when you're doing this, you right click, copy the link address. And then if you send that address to somebody, it will recreate your graph with all the data and axes titles already attached to it. Finally, if we want, we can import data. So a reminder of how to do that. If you have a data table somewhere else, you can just copy it. You can come on in, hit import data, paste into this box, pick what you want on the X axis, pick what you want on the Y axis. Again, if you mess it up, just flip them. You'll notice my wavelength is E to the negative ninth. My frequencies are e to the 15th, okay? So it comes out looking nice. We can curve fit it, inverse relationship, and you'll see we have a nice typeface 
for the mathematical relationship, and we get our graph constant as the speed of light. So these are the features for Quick Graph version 5.0. And again, the big one is the fact that you can use multiple data sets. Some minor additions are some new curve fits and some new typeface for your equations. If there are any features you'd like me to add in the future, please reach out and let me know. If you find any bugs in this new version, please reach out so I can squash them as soon as possible. Thank you very much.